restaurant has some of the best fast food in the game. Let's go eat at Portillo's. There's a chance this place has some of the best fast food in the game. Let's go eat at Portillo's. Copycats. <laughs> I've eaten at this specific Portillo's at least 10 times since moving to Orlando. This specific Portillo's is themed way different from any of the other Portillo's. Let me show you what they normally look like. Each of these Chicago Portillo's locations is themed after a different era. Most of them are like Prohibition era. I know that sounds weird, but trust me, when I'm eating a Portillo's hot dog, nothing is a better sight than seeing a mannequin with a Tommy gun on the side of a Prohibition era vehicle aiming at me while I'm eating. I don't know, that sounds really, really weird, but that is my hometown Portillo's right there. Correction, I know it's only a minute and a half into this video, but I do wanna say, I do not have a photo of this. You know why? Because in 2016, there were protests outside of Portillo's to remove this feature from some of the locations. I scoured the internet for 25 minutes and I could not find the actual mannequin on the gangster car with the Tommy gun because Portillo's doesn't want you to know that that exists. So I don't know, whatever, cool fun fact. Okay, let's head back. This one's a little bit more modern and I'll show you the inside. Like I said, the theming in most Portillo's are based off of different eras. This one is 50s, but like it feels a lot more modern than 50s. I don't know, is this just me? There's photos of the Beatles on the walls. There's all these records, some guitars, stuff like that. It's kind of cool. Um, it doesn't feel like a regular Portillo's though. It's very clean cut tiley, not like aged if that makes sense. Obviously this one's almost brand new. It opened in 2021, I think. We have sat down and just finished up setting the opening shot for Kristen's video. She loves doing these things where she's like, look at all the food I got, which is good. But I just we just opened the Italian beef, which is always my go-to. And it's super, super soggy and kind of gross looking. But let me tell you, it is the best thing on the menu. But she's like, we got to put it in the back. We can't be looking at this first. Like that's <laughs> that is not appetizing for the thumbnail. The reason we are here at Portillo's today is to help Kristen film a Portillo's review. If you have not subscribed to Kristen, what the heck are you doing here? Most people I'm pretty sure already are, but Kristen, let's get a quick recap of what they could catch in your video. So I wanted to bring Ryan here today because he is a Portillo's pro um, from Chicago area. So he told me the top five foods that you can find at Portillo's. We got them all, tried them all. Um, the cake shakes are obviously fire. Delicious every time. Can't go wrong with whatever flavor of cake shake you order. We also tried something really cool that is new to me and Ryan. We've both never had it before. The Maxwell Street Dog Sausage or something. Delicious. Um, honestly, Portillo's has some pretty banging fast food. Isn't this a sight to behold? If you're familiar with Portillo's, you know that their chocolate cake is probably their most iconic thing they have on the entire menu. It is seriously the best. I don't want to tell you what the secret ingredient is because I'm pretty sure it's going to gross some of you out. If you know, let me know in the comments. Now, this is not the only thing we're getting done today here on the vlog. We are also headed over to Hollywood Studios next. But before I do that, I do want to show you one of my favorite parts of all of the Portillo's theming. And that is a single picture they have in every single Portillo's location. If you know, you know, let me, let me show you. Guys, I have some devastating news. They do not have a signed photo from who I thought they would have a signed photo from. This is a problem. Right here by the pickup window for Portillo's, they have signed photographs at every single location. At this specific location, they have Guy Fieri, Vince Vaughn, the soup guy who I can't say his last name, and Gabriel Iglesias. So I ask, Mr. Portillo, where the f is Jim Belushi? Where's Jim Belushi? Every single location of Portillo's that I've ever been to, and trust me, I've been to at least 10, has a photo of Jim Belushi and it's front and center. Were you guys, did you guys used to be friends? Did you guys have a, a falling apart, something like that? I wanna know, because Jim Belushi is one of the greatest actors of our entire generation. Let me ask, Kristen, what is your favorite Jim Belushi film? The Barbie movie. He's not in the Barbie movie. <laughs> As upset as I am about this Jim Belushi thing, Portillo's still is one of my favorite restaurants of all time. Probably the best fast food, in my opinion. Um, we're gonna head over to Hollywood Studios. We've got some fun things we're doing over there as well, so come along with, thank you for continuing to watch this vlog. <laughs> Kristen, we ate so much food. Why did you grab more food? 
Nate is making me bring him just two plain hot dogs to Hollywood Studios. So now I have to just walk in the park with two glizzies. So weird. What the heck? <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> We have made it into Disney's Hollywood Studios. It is about 105 degrees. Why do I know that? Because that's what my car told me when I got into the car at Portillo's, and I'm sweating my butt off. If you can't tell, it's because I'm wearing this sick Roosevelt's um, flannel, because uh, it's too much, but it's cozy for winter. We have made our way over to Baseline Tap House because Kristen is filming another video today. Actually, I can't say that. That'll be spoiling her channel. Don't. Forget that I said that. And what are the odds? We definitely didn't plan this, but my friend Danny's also here. Danny got a brand new merch item, which is an action figure. Danny, what did you get? You're never too old to buy action figures. <laughs> okay, I will fight you in the comments in the section below, okay? But I got one of the best characters in Star Wars. Darth Maul, last one at the front of the park. Are those real legs? Yeah. No, his robot legs. It's his robot, not the spider robot legs. Though. No. Now, what is a trip to Hollywood Studios without riding one of the greatest rides of all time? We're going on Tower of Terror. Now, last time we were here riding Tower of Terror, we got a private tour of the, the lobby. What are we doing right now? We're going to check into our room. Once in a while, some cast members will pull some guests from the line to check out the lobby. We're here in the lobby. I don't think that's gonna happen this time, which is okay, but I'm just, I'm excited. This is my favorite ride, and it's only a 40 minute wait, which honestly is not that bad. Denny, what are we about to ride? Rock and Roller Coaster starring Aerosmith. I mean, Hand Montana. I think I now need to put an Aerosmith song over this ride through. <laughs> I really should Anything off of Nine Lives. <laughs> Wait, say it again? Anything off of Nine Lives, the album that they had to contract, conch, words are hard. Here we go, up or down? Up. Every time I go to Hollywood Studios, there's really only two rides that I need to ride. And that is Tower of Terror and one other one. Denny, what's the other one? Uh, Frozen Sing Along. Don't even know. <laughs> Don't be mad at me though. I have not done that yet. Have you done that ever? Never ever actually. Never even seen the movies, sorry. Oh, you haven't seen Frozen? Me neither. <laughs> it sounds like I was about to be like, how dare you? But no, I also haven't seen all of Frozen 1, I've seen all of Frozen 2, um, wasn't the biggest fan. Anyway, we're gonna go ride Rise of the Resistance next. Catch you over there. Rise of the Resistance has been one of my favorite Disney attractions since it opened. It's very groundbreaking, but there are a few secrets that I bet you don't know about it. The first being the hologram of Rey during the pre-show is actually a screen behind a two-way mirror. One way, what do you, how do you say it, Danny? How do you say it? It's like a two-way mirror like a two-way mirror and here's me outlining the outline of where the tv is literally like just behind it it's a, an amazing trick because it wouldn't it's not that expensive because it's a tv and a mirror but it's something that not a lot of people know and the way they make this mirror work is because the inside the walls are positioned exactly perfectly so that it looks like the the, the building just continues even though it's like a wall at that point super cool in my opinion and obviously the more groundbreaking part is the second pre-show. Now, for some reason in our car, nobody wanted to get close to the fish man. I know he's scary, but honestly, he's one of the more impressive animatronics on this ride itself. And guess what? Today, he was working. Guess who wasn't working? Danny's gonna tell ya. All right, first off, the fish man is Lieutenant Beck, voiced by James Arnold Taylor. Dropping some Star Wars knowledge on you right now real quick, okay? James Arnold Taylor does the voice of Obi-Wan Kenobi in The Clone Wars, all right, and many, many other voices. He did Star Wars Weekend, RIP Star Wars Weekend, a long time ago. He would host it all the time. But Disney, Disney, this is such a great ride, but y'all got to fix some stuff, man. Like, Kylo, first Kylo, up on up top. Honestly, it took me a second to realize he wasn't working. Like, I thought, you know, just lazy day at the office, just like, 
punching buttons in and just doing the minimum, you know? And then I was like, oh, yeah, he's not moving. And then there's a lot, of course, the cannons aren't working as they always do. And then there was a couple of like blast holes and stuff like that, that just, you could see him always going. So, but otherwise I think it was not bad, right? The problem is not Disney or the mechanics or anything like that. It's as the ride has been down for longer and longer periods of time, the checklist that they go through in the mornings has changed from, okay, only two effects aren't allowed to be working properly to probably five or six because everybody wants to ride this ride. And now because of Genie Plus, it's a moneymaker. Literally people are paying just to ride this ride, not to buy Genie to ride this ride, but pay 15, 20, $25 some peak days to ride this ride itself. And that's them losing thousands of dollars if this ride is not open a day so they're just gonna have it open and effects are not gonna work and that's okay that's okay I didn't make this ride there's the people that made this ride are amazing and I don't know I'm just a complaining idiot so I don't know I wish everything worked but it's okay I still love the ride it's you know I still love it it's a great ride but I'm just like fix the effects so please there's a few at things. least the cannons okay all right before we end today here at Hollywood Studios we're gonna play a quick game we're gonna write some names on these post-it notes and you gotta guess what your name says that's on your forehead. It's pretty self-explanatory. If you've seen The Office, I think you know the episode I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, don't let yours drop though. I, I feel like I know who's on my head. Oh, just take a guess, take a guess. I feel like I already know who's, who's on, on my head, head without even asking a question. Okay, go ahead. Mikey Eyes. No. Okay. No, I feel like I know who's on my eye thing. And I'm, like, I'm not trying to look in the sunglasses a reflection. Oh. I was almost seeing that, sorry. It's definitely a, it's definitely an executive, or was an executive. It could have been. I would say Card Walker, but I'm not gonna say Card Walker. Wait, okay, no. Can I take a guess? guess? Ask her a question about what. Is it an executive? Is my person? Yes. Okay, now Bob you ask a question. Yes. Okay, I will. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now Bob you have, Iger. <laughs> you have to ask questions about your person. Is it an executive? No. Well, could be. No I'm kidding. He's not. Is it a Disney character? Yes, technically. Is this character located in this park, Hollywood no. Studios? Is it located in a park? Yes. Figment? No. Is it located in Epcot? No. Is it located in Magic? Yes. Does it have a ride? Yes. Pooh? No. Is the ride in Fantasyland? No. Is the ride in Tomorrowland? Yes. Johnny Progress? Yes. There you go. <laughs> Fun game, right? <laughs> Okay, this is who I am. That's who Danny is. Okay. All right, you go first. Go first what? Do I ask the question? You ask I, I made this game and I'm trying to figure out how to play. Okay. You're the game master. You don't even am know. Am I located in the parks? Yes. All the time? Yeah, for uh, the most part. Okay, now you go. Um, am I located in this park? This park, yes. Okay. Am I in an attraction? You are in an attraction. Now it's my turn. Okay, okay so am I magic? No, you're in this park. You this asked park? Me. We're yeah. both he in this park. Because he doesn't know. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, he just told me. He, no, he, but you he asked. He revealed I, the information for me, okay? Yeah. You, that was what your first this? question <laughs> was, are, am I in this park? I said yes. Oh, okay. Oh, you did ask that. Okay. We'll oh, Kristen is revealing who I am right now. I feel like... How? Am I me? No. I'm not me? <laughs> because he's like, in, in this park right now? <laughs> I was like, oh, it's me. Okay, it's not me. This is interesting. Um... Am I in a ride? Yes. Okay, now it's your turn, you ask. Um, am I in a show? No. Okay. Not in a show. Am I in a show? Yes, you are. Yes, you are in a show. You've got our 3D. Ryan's is tough. Yeah, Why Ryan's is- Why did you make it so hard? <laughs> <laughs> this, this is good. Funny. Okay. This is kind of funny. I can, I can reveal who yours is really easily right now if you want. You want me to? No. No. Why would you do am that? Am I a Star Wars character? Uh, yes. Okay. Okay, am I in Muppet Vision? No. Okay, I don't. Whatever. Okay. Am I Kylo Ren? Yes, you are. I was gonna say you're not working today. <laughs> you're, you're apparently off the clock today. So you're, you can take yours off. Okay, now I gotta ask about me. Okay, I'm in one of the shows. Is it a nighttime you... show? No. It's a daytime show. It's a daytime. Show. Am I Indiana Jones? No. Am I in the Indiana Jones show? No. Okay, so I'm not. Is it running right now? Yes. Currently running. Currently running. Frozen. No. Um, Beauty and the Beast. No. No. <laughs> what show is this? Am I like a, a walk around character? It's a show and a ride. That would be funny if it was a walk around character. A show and a ride. Yeah. 
Yeah, you are so- On the so ride. Yes. It is a ride. You're both. You're both. Star Tours. No. Is it a ride in this park? Yes. <laughs> I haven't. Is it currently in the park? Yes. It's in Toy Story Land. No. no. It's in Star Wars. No. What land am I forgetting? That's a, that's a you problem, bro. <laughs> Rock and Roller Coaster? Yes. Am I Steven Tyler? Yeah. Woo! Good job, Steven pal. Tyler, so proud. Thank, you. Thank you. That guy's a pedophile. Thanks for putting that on my forehead. <laughs> Legally, no, actually, actually, I, I'm, I'm probably going to leave that in because that is something that is very widely known. And I guess I can leave that in. <laughs>